Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have our ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14, the exact model is a GA401Q, that information can be found in the BIOS or on the bottom of the laptop. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove your SSD in here and what are the capacities that you can have in here. Uh, you can put an up to two terabyte SSD NVMe in here. I recommend you guys to go with a Samsung Evo Plus, I mean 980 Pro. These are one of the best durable hard uh, SSDs. These are one terabyte, you can put up to two terabyte with no issue in here. You don't require any heatsink. They do come shipped with a Samsung 500 gig, but you can upgrade it easily to two terabyte. Just remember by upgrading to a in another in storage, you're not going to have any windows or any operating system or your files. So you want to back up your files and then you want to replace and install the windows. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. But I'll leave that link in the video description. Also, I made another video how to install the windows properly on your ASUS laptops. Those links can be found on the video description. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can remove or replace the storage. So let's get it started. So first thing first, I'll put a workshop tile on here. And we're gonna flip it upside down, the front end facing us. And we're gonna go over the tool. The only tool that I'll be using, it's an iFixit screwdriver set. And we are gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. And we need a spatula, like a plastic rod. But that might not be very necessary. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers without scratching it. All right, with all this set, let's get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, there's a whole bunch of screws. There are short screws and there are long screws. And the short screws are the front end of the laptop, the long screws from the mid side and the back. If the front is facing you, you want to remove from the left to the right three short screws. Do not touch the fourth one. So remove the three short screws from the left to the right and keep them in one pile. You want to leave this for the end? I'll explain why. All right, now we're going to go ahead and remove all the rest of the long screws, the four in the middle and the sides except this corner front. All right, let's go ahead and remove them and keep them again in the same pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful and helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws except this one in here, the reason is that this screw has a little C-lock on the other side. The C-lock will prevent the screw coming out entirely and it's going to help you uh, separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So as soon as I start twisting this one, you're going to see a gap opening between the covers right there. And that's what you want. And now what you're going to do, you want to stick the guitar pick in between these two gaps and just twist them like that. Do it every two or three centimeters. Just walk around and do that. Once you got the front end uncovered, grab it from the corners, wiggle it around like this firmly, and lift up the cover. And there is a C lock on this screw, right? There's a plastic C lock. All right, right away we can see the battery, the heat sink, and we see the NVMe drive is right away here. You can rip this one off, you can put it back on if you want. Now, to do the upgrade on the storage, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are paranoid and they want to, you just want to push these triggers towards the right side a little bit and then lift up this uh, jack, pull this flipping gaffer's tape upward, and it will disconnect the battery. To put it back on, align it straight. Make sure it's aligned, otherwise you're going to create a short. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard and then lock it back on. But don't uh, play with this one, leave it the way it is. Just make sure you don't drop your screw on the motherboard or anything like that, be careful. So you wanna unscrew 
the screw right on the NVMe drive like that and bring it to side, put it in one corner. Now what you want to do, you want to grab your NVMe, you want to bring it up about five or ten centimeters, and you just want to slide it backward just like that. And there we have it. So you can see there's a nice cushion thermal pad in here. So this is your Intel SSD Samsung mixed up. So put that to one side, grab the new NVMe. That will be the same thing like that one with a different brand, the brand that you like, I'll recommend you this one. You wanna make sure the notch, they look exactly the same. The same size, everything like that. So I'm just gonna, for demonstration, I'm not gonna put this one in. I'm gonna leave it, so imagine that's, that's the same one. You wanna make sure the notch matches the notch on the dim. You wanna bring it um, almost flat down inside the jack. And you're gonna see this NVMe stay up like that. So you wanna bring in like a, about 10, 15 degree inside the jack. Grab the screw. Bring the SSD down, make sure the screw hole matches. And then put the screw right on top of it. And there we have it. So you can put up to two terabyte uh, SSD in here with no problem. And then you can put this cover back on. This helps that prevents them from water going to the bottom case and touching them and stuff like that. Or if you have disconnected battery, plug it back in, grab the bottom cover, bring it on top, align it, push the corner back, the side, the front, except this corner. Make sure there's something in here that prevents it. There you have it, the corner. Now we're gonna tighten up this screw in the corner and it's gonna pull the cover back to itself. There we are. And if you see any gap, just pinch them down and it's gonna click down in its place. Put the three short screws in the front end of the laptop and the long screws goes all around in the mid towards the back end. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up all these screws and we are going to power on the laptop so you guys can see that it does power on and there's no risk for you to disconnect the battery. So just going to put these screws back on quickly. So let's go ahead and power it on. So we got the logo, the post logo, and then we have the hard drive reading and going to the system. And that's it for today's video.